All right, we're saying goodbye to our uh, awesome spot here on Big Creek um, in Montana in the Kootenai National Forest. And we're gonna continue the adventure around this road that we're on, Big Creek Road, which kind of hooks back around and goes into some other Forest Service roads and see, uh, see where that takes us. Uh, I got a satellite message out uh, to see if the Verizon package arrived back in Kalispell, Montana. pretty good so far it's passable without a lot of trouble it's definitely a little high. we got a turn coming up here in a little bit so we're gonna stop and look at the topo maps and figure out exactly how we navigate this we're trying to get up towards the town of Yak Y-A-A-K Montana on the Yak River um, still traversing the Kootenai National Forest here, um, all on four wheel drive trails. Uh, it's a really dense forest, it's pretty cool. I'm anxious to see the Yak River. We're driving along here, and on the side of Big Creek Road, we found a perfectly made chair that someone has obviously carved. I think they should have faced it the other direction so that it could overlook the creek, but that's probably how the tree broke. It's kind of cool that they did that though. It's like a lazy boy recliner. It looks like a snowman. It's the cottonwoods, I think. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but there's all sorts of little seed pods floating down. Yeah, you can see a few of them.
You guys look here. There's a bear track. That's our first one we've seen. It's like scouts, but wider. Yeah, a lot wider. I don't think that's a grizz. I think it's a black bear. I think we're probably about 60 miles of unbroken forest so far in the Kootenai National Forest up near the Canadian border, northwestern Montana. We're kind of making our way into a town, believe it or not, up here in the middle of all of this, down on the Yak River called Yak, Montana. Y-A-A-K. saw two wolves in the road I think there's one still there they're gonna be off to the left hand side guys there's a deer there's wolves around this deer see the deer okay the wolves are up here in the woods Stopped in the uh, town of Yak, Montana to gas back up, maybe resupply a little bit. And I think we're gonna get a, uh, a burger or something over at the Dirty Shame Saloon. This is the entire town of Yak. The Mercantile Store and the Dirty Shame Saloon. And these people that live right there have a uh, sign above the driveway that says no shame. So, that's encouraging. All right, we're traveling a uh, backcountry road here in Northwest Montana, middle of nowhere. And in front of us here on the road is a 1930-something, I'm guessing. If you know for sure, comment down below. Uh, car, two American flags on it. It's great shape, it's running great. It's cruising down the road here at 30 something miles an hour. And uh, even smells good. But uh, I don't know if it's a Ford or a Chevy or Oldsmobile, what it is. But I'm guessing it's early 30s. I'm guessing it probably weighs as much as the Tundra does because it's real steel. Pretty awesome. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You're filming. This is the best part about uh, adventuring with no agenda. I, uh, I was kind of getting disappointed that we weren't going to find a good campsite. And we saw a sign for a fire tower. We're about a half mile below it. But we're up on this point. We can see snow-capped mountains off in the south. Mountains in a gigantic valley over here. We have this uh, amazing campsite uh, just to ourselves. This is a snowmobile, winter snowmobile hut just down the hill from us. We've even got a pit toilet here in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. We have a sunset off there a little bit later. And I'll get the big camera out later tonight or in the morning so we can see the uh, snow-capped mountains off in the distance. But that's where we set the truck and the Moby up. 
pull the Moby up on a rock to level it up, up this little short four wheel drive road, up on top. Pretty awesome, don't you think, Scout? All right, we've hiked up from camp here. There's a fire tower up here. I don't know if it's occupied or not. All right, here's the view from the top up here where the fire tower is at. It's awesome, 360 degree views. All right, we lucked out with the campsite and we're lucking out with the sunset as well. If I can get it to uh, focus here a little bit off the distance, we've got just layers of mountains on mountains. Let me pull it in close here so that you can kind of see. And then the sunset's just over that peak there. I love the uh, the spindly evergreen or conifer trees silhouetted against a backdrop like that. That's right there, so that's a great t-shirt. Except for the mosquitoes flying through frame. Can't do anything about that. And then there's the Tundi and the Moby and Mr. Scout, he's coming over to see what's happening, get in on the action. And then off in the distance here, if I can get it to pull up the focus out there, if I can get it to focus in, yeah, there you go. Just over that ridge, the snow-capped mountains, that's the cabinet mountains. But another really nice sunset in a random Kind of unexpected campsite. Like I kind of thought we were going to end up who knows where, and uh, we hit the jackpot right here at the foot of this fire tower. some visitors in camp. Apparently we took their spot. If I can get the camera to focus. Hello. Sorry we took your spot. We didn't know. Man, I guess the light's so low it's having trouble focusing. Get the camera to focus when I zoom in. 